Welcome back to Melazar's Inscrutable Tower. We, uh, guess this is just the fire chambers through here. I mean, it does look fiery, and there is an Ifrit dwells here, I guess. Hello, is that... Is that the Golem's head? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get that. But while we have a dark patch, let's have a look around. It's enormous lava hole. Chest and some controls. Very uh, unusual plants, I expect, that grow in the presence of a lot of magma. Hmm. Well, let's let's. Seems safe enough, right? If there's an if for it, I can't see it. Hello. That's that glowing. And moving. Kind of did, didn't it? Oh, yeah. It is not happy about our intrusion here. Yeah, it is definitely not happy. But it is bound by the golem's head, so it can't actually get to us. Okay. Yeah! Well, maybe... maybe... Mm. So... Maybe it doesn't need to get to us for us to die here. <laughs> I was going to say maybe it can't get to us, but it seems to have left the pedestal there, so I don't know actually... Is that the right save? That is the... that's fine. So the invisibility potions aren't very good, because they don't last very long. But maybe they're necessary? I guess... I have no idea what I'm trying to do. I guess I, it's, it's here, I guess we use it. I try and get to the control box and see what happens. Well, not that way. Again, let's save here. It's a better, better starting spot, I guess. Yeah. Don't stop. Okay, so we have another way out of here. That's where we uh, were before. That's the hallway that connects to our statue so frames. So that's as long as the invisibility potion lasts. Now that doesn't feel like kitchen key, okay. Doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel like we have got what we needed here from here. Feels like there's got to be more to this chamber and that invisibility potion. Seems not sure if what we did was a waste there, that's the problem. Oh god, there's a ladder and stuff there, because we need to, still need to come out this way, right? <sighs> yeah, so that's why I didn't save again. I feel like this first section we could probably do without getting killed. Right, we got this place for a, a cover. Sort of. Aim is not very good, thankfully, but still has this. Still quite has this. Okay, so far, so good. Like, the invisibility poster just doesn't last anywhere near long enough to be of great use. 
does move, it's kind of falling off its platform into the lava, which means it can't see as high. But it's moving about, I guess. So far, so good. Let's save here, right? Where I'm kind of stuck if I can't find a way forward. <gasps> there was a lever in there. Probably opens the trap door. We could actually even go down there, but is that gonna... Ugh. You know, I just realized. Maybe that's why we have the invisibility potion, right? So we can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe not that. No, no. I was thinking, you know, if we can go down there and jump to that island... Can't see what that says. If we could jump to that island, then... Uh, it seems to jump is even possible. Yeah. No, it's not. That's the golem's head, right? Down there on the island. It's binding the effort. Guess we need to get up there somehow. How do we get up there? Let's get out of its line of sight again. Because there's like controls up there with the sign and there's there's a big pipe that runs conspicuously over the place with like drain holes on it. I feel like surely we're gonna be able to get in that room somehow. Cause again I'm like that's the only way forward, everything else now is taking me back around the places I've already been, right? This was a new room. This is an old room. We could leave the statue in here and try and get the statue blown up, but that doesn't seem like a promising uh, approach to uh, not achieving much of anything, really. Maybe there's something here in the dark that I'm just not seeing because it is so very dark. that lever. Oh dear. It's not the dangers that are the problem, it's the wandering with no idea what to do or where to go. How to achieve anything. That's the problem. So if I go back through the door we came in... I can't know where that leads. Well, we can get back into the fire chamber when we need to now. At least, at least that's that. Hello? Wait, this, this just led, was this, no, this slid back down there. So I guess one of the reasons why, uh, <laughs> I was just trying to drop stuff. All the stuff is, is tagged as non-droppable. Now, you know, you say that's because it's quest related, but it is also conveniently means we can't mark the floor and see where the 
teleports are done. Right, this is how we came into this room, right? It's a dead end. No, this is this is a dead end with just some loot. And that's Wait, we came in by falling down, of course. Uh, is there anything on the side? Nothing at all. Alright, so if we come around here. Is this how I came in? That was how I came in, and this was the entryway. Big doors didn't seem to be openable. Two horns. I mean, that seems like it signifies something, right? That is absolutely not like just a stop decoration, so it feels significant. What it means, I don't know. I can't even remember how I got to the fire tower. It's a fire room now, right? Where's. I've forgotten where this started. Oh, this is the serpent. This is the serpent path. Serpent passage. Which is, uh... Quite... Unuseful. So we walk around in front of us, they don't actually react to the sight and the sound. Okay, so we can get here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try going all the way back over the stairs here to see if, uh, if I remind myself where this entrance was. I just had a thought, you know. This is this room, right? Which is on this court. Yeah, okay. And certain passages around the corner there. Oh, we're going around in circles. That's maybe fine. I just had a thought, like maybe this beanstalk, you know? Maybe we can grow a beanstalk down in the, uh, the hall of fire. What do they call it? Fire chamber. Scouts. Whoops. I stuck on here. Alright, let's put a save. There's a risk of death. There's only where it looks like it's dirt, right? Where we might go to plant some some magic beans. So if we could plant magic beans and climb up to that ladder, that would, um... That ladder looks like it falls down. Right? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere, right? So I guess it does fall down. So I guess there's a... How do you get up there? I am guessing magic beans is not the answer. Fuck you. Yeah, it does not look like magic beans is the answer. So, I'm sure even a hundred broadheads is not going to hurt this far. <sighs> well, he doesn't like them. That's, that's for sure. Oh, it's my back here. So I can't I couldn't get into that room, right? It's all barred up. I can't access it from the side, I can't get on top of it. I feel like I'm just completely stymied again. I guess 
I guess I'll wander around until I see something different that I didn't notice before. Like the serpent door, right? The serpent door I didn't notice for a very long time. Because it was super dark. I noticed one of the torches, but not both. And I didn't notice the text. Because it's just too dark to see it. Um, oh, there's an enormous clock with wings. That's... Ah, that's a very good pun. Angel watch. I mean, it's not a wristwatch, but, you know. And I don't have a key that works here, right? I've only got the, um, kitchen key. Oh, that's the kitchen key. Oh, excellent. I do have a key that works. Alright, so we're back right at the start. Okay, I feel very good about this now, because now I can go use the metal gear, so I have a way forward. Let me put the big save in. Could put out this fire with my other water arrow, but I don't want to waste it, so let's not. Even though we don't have the health to spare, we probably are okay. Metal Gear. What? You can open up something. Alright. This duct brings me... This is the, above the broom room. The broom hallway. That I could not get through. So how does this help me? Just being up here of any use. See the chandeliers, but uh, maybe I need light. Let's go turn the lights on. It might help. <laughs> Good ladders. Where's, where was the light switch? Also, where? Oh, that's the lower vent. Yeah. And that's the lab. We can get to the library and I haven't been into the library yet, of course. So I am, uh... However... I mean, we could have gone into the library a long time ago, and maybe that would have given me more information before I got stuck in this... in these other areas of the map, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, so now we've got lights on here, maybe we can actually... see a reason to be up here? Why was there... why was this locked? <coughs> Ouch. Does that turn? Did I just not see that? Am I daft? I'm certainly blind. Okay, we appear to be leaking Oh, ho, ho, we're leaking sewage onto the floor and that. I guess it's a mop, not a broom. <laughs> it's trying to clean it up and it's going to be an unending task. Okay. Poor thing. Gonna be cleaning for a long time now. Alright. You know, I feel like I should have gone to the library already. Although, hmm. As the case numbers, that's probably what hit us right and transported us. Long way around to our S stacks. Spell of water breathing. Ninth floor is off limits. You know what? The library seems like a big thing. Right, we saw this... 
figure and thought it was a little creepy, but did not get too concerned by it at the time. But now, of course, we know how they work. And all this floor is going to make him suspicious of my footsteps. I see him. We can stand back in the darkness here and then see if they are alerted. Yep, they are alerted. I'm hearing even more creepy noises from that side. It's not the kitchen and it's not the library, right? You stay away. Stay away, I said. Don't come in here, it's bad for my health. Oh, big book, Golem Manual. Zirtan's Golemic Principles. Simply creating the form out of clay is not enough. The body parts must be constructed separately from raw clay, interwoven with the maker's commands of obedience. Then fused in a spirit forge, an arcane machine, the construction of which I shall explain in a later chapter. The heat generated by the spirit forge can be intense, and it is preferable to construct it in a cold environment. Once the body is complete in form, an experienced practitioner of magic should be able to discern the flow of spiritual energy held in potentia in the raw clay. But another step yet remains. The golem lacks the spark of motivation that animates all life. Since it, since it is not alive and has no soul to speak of, a substitute must be used. The runic power word for awaken must be inserted into the raw clay, as a brain is inserted into a man upon his conception. Only then will the golem come to, for want of a better word, life. Brain is inserted into a man upon his conception. I'm not really sure how that, that's how that works, biologically speaking, but fair enough. We need a runic power word for awaken to be inserted into the raw clay by some kind of enormous magical penis. Spirit Forge. Intense heat. Better to construct it in. <sighs> right, body parts are fused in Spirit Forge, but then preferable to construct a golem in a coal environment, right. Well, we have the golden manual now, and that's not going away, but we have a statue that is now being... It's getting in our way. <laughs> they tick very slowly, but they do tick. I think that's enough for me to get past them. Well, between a statue and a creepy place, let's go to the creepy place. We have a key here, which we do not have a lock for. All right. Statue does not like us being here, so let's... The statue is persistent. Where am I going to go to evade it? That was not a possible place of evasion. I'm not meant to open the door. Guess we can run up into the fireplace if we need to. 
into the products. Maybe we can let it calm down here. So we got a couple of locked doors there, one at the end of the passage, one in the hall in the middle of the hallway by the dining table. And uh oh, it's coming in here to search, isn't it? Oh, it's going back. Let's look away. Alright. And then we have the library. And we can, uh, since I can't make progress on the locked rooms, I suppose I should have to make progress on the library. Well, we can run up his water bill as well. Okay. Library it is. JKL Ooh, that looks nice. That's a very nice effect. It works much if it works about like just those particles by themselves would look very bland, but with that window behind them it looks very cool. PQ Soyan. Are these dispellable or do we just walk into them? Ah, oh, yeah, the rooms of translocation, okay. So do we just walk into them? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that one's going to be a problem if we walk in there. I feel like we might. You know what? I feel like we need to do the experiment. Oh, I mean, it, it kicked us up to TUV. Metal Gear, there's gold, but it's not a usable item. Okay, that's a little surprising. MN. I see how this works. JKL. GHI. Funny, because the library doesn't, here doesn't seem to have many more books than bookshelves than the actual kitchen did. But maybe the kitchen is all cookbooks, and this is all the magic books. I knew I must have been missing something. Every loot had every floor had loot so far except this one. Whoop. But then of course maybe this one is the exception. Maybe I'm just blind and missing something. Maybe there just is no loot on uh, GHI. Let's get a D here. The loot gathering definitely feels vestigial in this mission. Like, it's fair because you do that deep. It doesn't. Doesn't seem to have any relevance. Okay, Alright, so here we are at the bottom level. Which gives us another way out of the library. Is there anything special about this? 
ghostly flame. Little different colored flames. Oh, that's very cool. Look at that. That's very neat. You know, all this, this, we're trying to get to that crystal, but does the balcony even exist? You know, so that's the question. Library entrance way with a lot of statues looking down at us. Feels very keepery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought they turned to look at me. Maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm just too creeped out by the statues already. By the other statues, the moving ones. Eye watering key. Okay. That's unusual for a key. Have we seen an onion door anywhere? I guess we can get through here easily enough. Just as a dispelling zone. Ah, hello. Okay. And what is this? Thing? That brings down the ladder. All right. Now I know what I'm doing here. Where is our friend? Don't know. Out there. Let's run. So that's are good. Don't shoot me while I'm climbing a ladder, dude. It's not. It's not fair. No loot in there. All right, let's go across the pipe. What does it say? Purge water tanks. You know what? That sounds like an excellent idea. Oh wow, is that killed the effort enti entirely? This is just like burn. Well, what's the opposite of burning up? Uh, doused it. Alright, it's also solidified bits of lava. See, I, here I was thinking I needed to save the invisibility potion. But getting across that island once these... I mean, it was, it was clear that dropping water to make... to harden some of them lava was uh, going to be the solution. But, um... This is really awkward. Alright. I thought I was going to need the invisibility potion here. Come on, Garrett, you can do it. Golem heads. Let's save again, because I don't know how well I trust my platforming. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, what did we. We We have glue, we have a golem head, we have an eye weapon key. I guess we need to see if we can find a door that that key will open, right? <laughs> well, the fire chamber is a lot safer now, too. Okay, so we're in the library. Um, is it MNO where we entered? Okay, so through here there were. It's gonna be quiet now. Because the statue does not seem to respond to, to visual only noise. Right? And they're even looking away in case they, in case they might respond to visuals. 
where there is noisy floor in some of these places. Let's see if this is a eye watering key. I don't know, I mean it's a locked door. Nope, not that one. So each of these urns is whispering like a horn. Well, that's lights up already, okay. I do not like this. Wait, is there another door by halfway along the way? Alright, well we found... I keep thinking they've turned around. We have found one place for this door. I guess... I was going to say, just my sword and break these down, but nope. It's time me again, alright. There was a door here halfway along by the table, right? Not misremembering. Oh, it wasn't locked. Okay, I came in here to hide from the statue and I didn't explore it thoroughly, so I guess I can do that now. More bookshelves. Very high. No obvious signs of anything strange. But, you know, you can't, can't be too sure with um, these magical towers. I don't know if you've noticed, but they do tend to hide a few odd secrets here and there. Um, I don't suppose I can dispel... These, right? They're not magic fields that the Ring of Dispelling is going to help me with. Can I just like smash it with the staff? Just like whack it? I can't dispel the statues, right? Probably not. That'd be too easy. They don't have the magical aura. So now what? I got a key, I went to all the trouble. I mean, I got a golem head, right? But. I don't have any limbs. Okay, we've got pictures as well. So that is the fire chamber. Where the head is. I see. I see the circles that have got lines on them. Uh, that's the pit which has the right limb. Oh, sorry, the star limb. Which is the right limb, yes. The right arm. Which I did not see. Okay, the... Green one is... There, which, looking at those pluses, is the texture of the room I just went into, maybe? But, lots of stairways everywhere, I have not seen that room, and I don't think I've seen that room either. Let's go back to the pits. What was down here? Oh, that's, that's, that's that one. This was... Hang on. <laughs> this was the scepter, right? That teleported me? Oh, this was the fireplace... ...access. Right, and nothing more, right? Nothing more in this broom closet that I might have overlooked. <sighs> when it's so dark. Okay, that's the library. I'm really sorry about the mess. Okay. I mean, I'm definitely lost. I don't remember my way around anymore. <laughs> um, so that only let us access the pipe, which only let us get the broom out of the way. 
So I guess anything else that happens has got to be... That's the fire chamber. It's a serpent room, let's just pit, right? Oh no, wait. Upstairs. I think upstairs in here. That's how we get back to that. That square hole. Infinite vertical room. Ah, through the creepy room. I forgot about the creepy room. Right, the other side of this. Do you mind? So that one definitely, oh wait, that's not where I thought it was. Should be able to lose him in here because we're breaking light of sight and there's pitch darkness. I'm just walking backwards because I don't trust them. Call me, uh, Paranoid. I think we're safe. Okay, so according to the golem diagram, the right limb is in this room somewhere. I did not see anything that looked like a golem limb. I only saw the ring of dispelling. Also, I don't know why we need the golem at all, but I mean, it's a thing. So, being a thing that exists suggests that it might be a thing we want to try and do. That looks suspicious, does it not? Does it not? Like this, a uh, well, maybe not. Maybe just yeah. No, the shadows don't make it look like an object. <laughs> like, did anybody see a golem arm around here anywhere? Wait, I'm getting my I'm getting my uh, passageways confused here, aren't I? Yeah, it's at least the fire chamber, not to... That's where we got teleported into. Right, so I went to part... I went past the garden thinking it was, uh... That statue, but it's not that statue. So, um... Golem arm. I mean, this is a nice fancy chamber which just had a little bit of loot. It doesn't... And I have no idea of the alternate way to the seventh floor of the library, let alone the ninth floor, which is off limits. I guess ABC was at the bottom. Maybe we should go back to the library and do they explore end of the alphabet? I'm not. Ah! I'm not sure that I did. Let's go back to the way we last saved, shall we? Here, okay. Um, let's climb down. And see if I can remember the way back to the library. Yes, it's pretty easy for me. Let's try exploring the other end of the alphabet. 
Or can I not? I guess that's the problem. So we go OBQ. And from OBQ, TRS. Right. We get to T. TUV. There we are, TUV. WXY, I guess it's the ninth floor that's off limits. And. I think has a statue up there. Oh, those are crystals. Hmm. Seconds. Oh yeah, that's R and S. And then what we can see, so we see we see water, right? So obviously there is a long swimming passage that will get us there. But what's the other end of that long swimming passage? And how do we get to the ninth floor that is off limits? I haven't the foggiest. I'm just like I'm wondering now, or like. I'm extremely disappointed this I will drink did not get me to anything. Right? It took us nowhere. It was it was entirely irrelevant. This library has been <clears throat> mostly irrelevant. that I can't distinguish visually which floor in here is which. So I Watering Key gave us access to here, which, as I said, that texture looks like not the one we need, but I don't have my sword. I mean, I could try shooting arrows at these, right? I've got 100 arrows. I don't think it'll work. I think it'll just stick out. So why put a key to a room that's an immediate dead end? Why lock the door if the room's an immediate dead end? Does that, how does that make any sense? That's not doing anything. And because there's an object, it's vanishing. That's fine. It's like, it's two Uh. See chains, but yeah. What is the point? What is the point? I suppose maybe on the other side of this I get a sword and can bash him down from that side and thus if I didn't have the eye watering key I would not be able to get to this exit, maybe, but my problem is I don't have a way forward. Creepy haunt urn room doesn't lead me anywhere. This room is a complete nothing. I mean, it has some loot, but it doesn't do anything. Don't go anywhere. Alright, this is a dead end. It's got a locked door I can't open, right? I mean... I can be stupid. I can exhaustively try all my keys here, right? It's not eye-watering, it's not a kitchen key, it's not a library key. This is... this is... not gonna work. If the author's gone to the trouble of, uh, labelling the keys... It's just the way out of the tower again. Maybe that's the way out. Uh, it would make sense if this is the escape. At least a bow and a sword. So I should be able to find a sword somewhere. Okay. And I'm guessing it is the other side of that, and so that's... But why? What? I don't understand why I found the key where I did... I don't know. I don't understand where I'm supposed to be able to go next. Uh, I don't want to have to look it up, right? Because the chance of... The chance of running into other spoilers if I look it up is, seems... 
pretty high. Have to go as a long way around. If I spell of water breathing. So the other possibility is that the long way around is from outside, that somehow that water connects to like a, pool, a pond or something. But I certainly haven't found any other water that might connect. Well, there's the... Okay, let's stop and think, right? There's the water, so there's this. But this is not going to get me. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um... There is the water reservoir. Have I been here? Yes. I'm all turned about. That connects to the greenhouse, which is not the passage I was looking for. Wait, that's the ducts. I can get, I should be able to get back to those ducts. Let's try and find our way back to the ducks because we're in this starting kitchen area, right? When we got to those ducks. It wasn't from the fireplace because the fireplace was locked. It wasn't from here. It was another... from the fireplace. me to the Metal Gear. Okay, so where does this go? Maybe this was the one? Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this experiment. It looks unhealthy, right? Yeah, very unhealthy. Just, just, just checking. Okay. So I haven't been back here since we got all teleported around. That in there looks like kitchen, yep. Right, let's view onto the courtyard. That moved something stone. What did that move? Sounded like a door opening, and then it got a field on it. Can I just spell the field? Apparently not. Okay, I might have probed it too many times last time, or maybe the stone sound is just a red herring, but maybe this courtyard has some, had something open in it now, I guess. I guess I can try to find out. Back to that hallway, but I think it's a bit too hard to drop down there without taking damage. Because here at least we have a ladder and a fire, which is a risk of taking damage, but not guaranteed. Alright, where's that courtyard from here? It's out this way. Just out the door? No. Wrong courtyard. Up here. Okay, so I heard big stone grindy sounds when we were just down in behind here. So does that open anything? Or am I just like wasting my time with this? I guess we can go back up in there. <laughs> Garrett, 
when I press the <laughs> press space, you really also jump. <laughs> Platforming in this game is so far, especially of objects. Collisions on objects are just ah. <laughs> Frustrating as fuck. There we go. Also, I mean, it doesn't help that my I'm doing. I was trying to do a walk jump rather than a run jump because I'm calibrated to uh, um, keep one jump. Well, nothing seems to have changed up here, right? I don't think anything has changed in the water room. I feel like maybe that grinding noise was not supposed to sound like a door. I don't know. I mean, it's a door opening sound, right? It's well established in Thieves that that's a door opening sound, like a big stone door. So, if it didn't mean a big stone door, in this case, I'd put something else, like just some magical stone sound, then. <gasps> Fine, whatever, but it's a little confusing. I mean, it's a magical scepter, like, it could do absolutely anything. I don't understand why, I mean, dropping it a bunch does whatever it does. That's just what happened the first time. Alright, I... I don't understand. Right, Serpent Staff has been fixed, right? So, uh, I don't think we, we can go to that. We got the gold hand. Well, we go to the fire chamber or the water chamber. You know what? Let's go to the water chamber. The only place that might have opened, that I thought might be a door might be on that side, but but no. Um, the other possibility. Is that this floor, which is a suspicious colour, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a lighter colour, right? I was going to say that floor might open and might make a swimmable passage down. It's, it's water. It's the only big body of water we've seen. Which would mean, you know, there'd have to be some kind of switch or something to open it, and I haven't seen anything of the sort. Anywhere around this room. And also, I mean, yes, you probably use a teleport as well, but it'd be pretty impressive. Extremely impressive. Just trying to make swimming into that seamless. Well, I'm kind of at a loss not knowing where to go. Like, I feel like every, everything I found has just come to dead ends. What's that doorway? That's the serpent passage, okay. Dead end. I mean, dead end as well. Alright, um, I'm just gonna cut here because it's been an hour anyway, so I will. Go see if I can find out without spoil. Well, hopefully without spoiling anything. What I'm missing and where. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.